uh, there's an aircraft there that we're going to be able to use, but just hold tight. And as soon as we get a confirmation, we'll let you know. So this plane is out of service and we're going to the plane. I did not see it. In case you didn't catch that, that was the pilot announcing that something was wrong with the jets and we have to deplane and now my flight is delayed. But let's rewind. It's five in the morning. We start our daily routine with Tigger in the restroom. It's 5.55. We get our ride to the airport. We check through security. We get through. And now we showcase the slots in Vegas. I kind of I got desensitized to this. So uh, for those of you who haven't been or haven't been here in a while, yep, slots in, in the airport for you DJs. So we board the plane. It's our big day. We're going to Hustler Live today until we get the bad news. We get a text message saying that something's wrong with the jets. We have to deplane. We have a new gate, a new departure time. Talk about starting the day off bad. Hopefully we don't run bad. Um, so let's just get off this plane and get to the new one. Just when I thought we were going to leave and I was going to escape the slots, we're back. I would have been in LA by now, but we have to hop on a new plane, new gates. Uh, so we're just waiting now. Okay, so we're on the new jets. In hindsight, I should have probably put a 20 in that slot machine to make up for my time. But anyway, uh, we're on our way to Los Angeles. We take off successfully. And what do you know? We finally make it. Finally made it. Baggage claim and then uh, kill some time. So I guess I'm gonna eat. Try to check it to the hotel and then uh, yeah, go to Hustler Casino at 3 p.m. So, see how it goes. So, this is my first time requesting an Uber in LAX. Uh, you take a shuttle and the shuttle brings you to this pickup area where it's like rideshare, taxis, lifts, Ubers, etc. So, all these people. We'll try to go to the hotel to check in an hour earlier. Something like that, so we'll see, hopefully. Thankfully, we we're able to check in early and we're finally in our hotel. Woo! Here we go. I'm on my way to Hustler, five minutes away, and um, I don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to play my best. It's a big stage, and this means a lot to a lot of these guys. Uh, to me, it was no doubt that I was someday gonna be on the stage. It was just a matter of when. And this is only the beginning for us. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these. Well, let's see. Let's let's go see. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Once we freshen up, we finally get our Uber. There it is, Hustler Casino. Huge day for me. We buy in for three thousand dollars. I get two bullets, so I get six thousand dollars in chips. So we haven't drew seats yet. We're about to draw seats, but we have to sign waivers because you know game integrity is huge especially with everything and um, so yeah i finally got to sign a waiver and uh, yeah we'll see what seat we get and uh, go from there and here we go for my very first hand at hustler casino live we're in the plus two position and we pick up a mystery hand we raise it up to 60 dollars the card reading didn't pick up my cards and was probably a good idea for this hand it folds all the way around to greg who's in the small blind he makes the call and we go heads up to the flop Flop is pretty wet. It's queen, ace, jack, two diamonds. I continuation bet for $100. Greg goes all... Uh, he doesn't go all in. I meant Greg himself makes the call and he turns two pair. But a diamond gets there and I'm not slowing down on this card. I have a pretty good range to represent here. I bet $450. He makes the quick call with two pair. Then the river is another jack, so it pairs the board, and he does get counterfeit if I did have a hand like ace-king. And after he checks to me, I think about it for a while. I should have gone all in, not sure why I only bet 1,000 here in hindsight, and all in is the move. He then tank folds, and we show the seven deuce stay loose. The man himself, his branded hand, we make the bluff, we show, and then after this hand, we started the seven deuce game. On to the next hand, Sethi opens with pocket nines in the hijack position. It's gonna fold to me, and I'm gonna make the call in the big blind. We defend our big blind. We didn't come here to fold queen 10 offsuit to defend. And we go heads up and we flop a pair of tens. Second pair here, we check to Sethi and he see bets with pocket nines to $40. It's a little down bet here. Um, there's no other choice here but to just call. Uh, no need to raise and no need to fold, especially we're never folding here. Uh, we make the call and we go to the turn. 
returns a seven of clubs. We check to Sethi. He then checks uh, his showdown. We go to the river, and I don't need to bet here. I think my showdown is good a lot of the times here. I will evaluate if he bets. He checks, and we show him the bad news, and we pick up our second pot of the night. In this hand, on tilt, opens to $60 with Queen Jack offsuit in the plus one. We wake up with pocket tens in the small blind. So after Branson made the call, we three bet to isolate and we bump it up to $325. On tilt makes the call and we go heads up to the flop. This is a pretty big pot, all things considered. And what do you know, not knowing this, but uh, quite the board for on tilt. But a lot of the times this is a good board for our specific hand as it makes it less likely that on tilt has a queen, but that's not the case here. So once we see bet here, he min clicks it to 560 and I don't take too long to call uh, just because he could be doing this with a flush draw or even hands like a seven sometimes. Uh, once I make the call, the turn is a king of clubs and we check it over to him and he continues for $850. The thing with this king, it might have saved me some money versus like a deuce coming out, like a deuce of diamonds where I wouldn't have believed him much. But with the king coming on the turn, now there's an over card. It may connect with a hand like king seven if he did have king seven or, you know, if he does have the queen, then this is a time where, you know, I'm just going to wave the flag and just fold and live to fight another hand. So. He takes this hand down. Nice hand, Nick. We go to our fourth hand. In this hand, Casino King opens to $100 with Ace-9 offsuit. I believe we are playing the stand-up game. He's in the under-the-gun position. I pick up King-Queen of Hearts in the small blind. I three bets, and he makes the call. We go heads up to a flop of King High, three King-10, and luckily for me, um, the King comes out. We pair it with this board. We see bets and Casino King usually has some moves up his sleeve, but he decides to just fold and we go to the next hand. So nothing happened there, nothing crazy. All right, buckle up people. We have a huge hand incoming. We see Sethi opens to $60. It folds to Frankie who's in the cutoff. Then we see him three bet to $200. We look down at pocket aces. What a dream spot. We're in position. We're on Hustler Casino Live and we have the best hand in poker. We four bet to $620. Sethi quickly gets out of the way as everyone else does as well. Then Frankie is thinking about this one. Pocket Queens in the cutoff. He's probably thinking whether he should five bet or just call. And he ends up making the call and we go heads up to the flop. The flop is queen high, queen seven, four, rainbow. Frankie quickly checks to me, and I think about this one for a long time. I'm pretty sure the solver says to continuation bet here. Um, I was thinking of just checking in order to allow hands like ace jack suited of the world, ace king, uh, you know, um, maybe pocket tens, pocket jacks to potentially catch up to some sort of draw or back door. Um, you know, of course, this is probably a flawed logic in hindsight, and we're supposed to just start getting value now from hands like ace, queen, king, queen. And I ended up checking, so it went check, check, and the turn comes a blank. The turn's a deuce of spades. And now Frankie bets to $300. It's a really small bet here, um, and I'm thinking about this one for a long time. I could just call here. Uh, to represent a hand like maybe a non-believing pocket jacks, maybe just try to trap for the river. But I decided to just go for max value and I go all in. When he snap calls, from my experience, Frankie all usually has it. Call. And I asked him if he has a set and he quickly you says yes. I said it's up to him if he wants to run it once or twice. He, he says once and the run out comes clean for him. And we Not get it. stacked. So what do you know? Getting your aces cracked on Hustler Casino Live for your first bullet of 3k isn't the best feeling in the world. And we reload for another 3k. And this one stings a bit. It actually put me on a tilt mood. However, I didn't get out of line. I was just a bit quiet. And we go on to the next hand. We pick up Ace Jack Offsuit from the plus one position and open to $60. It folds to the cutoff, which is Casino King, who three bets to $160. And I make the call and we go heads up to the flop. 
The flop comes trip aces, ace, ace, 10. Beautiful flop for me. We check to the aggressor here who is going to see bet. He continuation bets for $150. No need to raise here. I'm just going to call here as, you know, we want to trap him and make it seem like we're on a draw. If we were on a draw, we are connecting to it. King of diamonds on the turn. And it quickly goes check, check. And then we pick up our full house when the river comes another jack. I thought about betting, but I wanted to trap. And I decide to check. And I was surprised when Casino King ends up checking back. Obviously, in hindsight, I know he had 6-9 of clubs. But usually, Casino King would probably uh, fire at this point because he's not afraid to put the money in. And because of this player profile, I went for the tricky check. And the commentator, Raver Poker, was also letting the audience know that the only way I could possibly get value here is if I check to keep some bluffs in. Check again. Because that's the way he's going to make more money on this pot, is to check again. It's hard to find it, though. You're sitting there with a full house. He does check. What a check. What a check. And I think Casino King, oh, wow, he just checks back. You check? I'm playing a board. Nice answer. But that was the way to make more money on that hand. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. We're playing the stand-up game, as I mentioned before, and we pick up pocket jiggities. And Greg goes all in, was on the button. He three bets to $300. With our stack, we only have $1,600 behind. I decide to go for it all. We jam with our pocket jacks. And I'm not sure why I was doing the Phil Hellmuth stance, uh, putting my arms together facing down with my mouth on my fists. I know you guys have seen this legendary stance from Phil Hellmuth and I probably understand why he does it now. <laughs> I've never done this before. It was probably just a stream thing. But anyway, as you can tell, uh, Greg was trying to make a move to get a button for the stand-up game. I also needed a button myself, but this time I had a real hand. So with King Dude's offsuit, I doubt he's ever calling here. He's definitely just kind of uh, contemplating to keep his image. And with King Deuce offsuit, he's going to end up letting this one go, reasonably speaking. And we scoop down a pre-flop pot of around 400 plus ish dollars. And now we're back up to having 2000 in our stack. We show our pocket jacks. We get a button and then Greg pays everybody else. In our next and final hand, if you thought anything could go better for me, then let's see if you are correct. We have pocket kings in the cutoff. Greg woke up with ace king of clubs in the plus one. He three bets to $220. Sethi gets out of the way. Everyone gets out of the way. And we only have one move. I was going to jam it. Let's go. I think if I'm, it's the turn still. And All I in, he says. I say fuck it. We go all in with pocket kings with $1,200. And once I jam all in, of course, Greg is never folding here. He asks if we run it once or twice. He said, let's just run it once. And I make the announcement. For the record, if, if this gets cracked, I'm out. I'm out. Why'd you say that? That's all I'm saying because my aces and then my kings, I'm... You guys have to understand that my aces got cracked. Every time I had a hand, I either couldn't get value from it or my flops just weren't hitting. Cards were brutal in this session, and you know this if you watch the stream. Um, so we are all in with pocket kings. And Cairo, it didn't show, but earlier folded ace four. So I'm more likely to win this hand, this flip. And we go to the run out, running it once. And what do you know? the ace of spades on the flop i tell greg <laughs> that he ended up flopping it not sure if the king is going to come but it doesn't come and after Cairo even folded an ace greg still hits his ace wasn't my night guys i ended up calling it a night here um, and apparently i still owe some of these players for the stand-up game i didn't mean to just leave and not pay them <laughs> But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed that stream, hit that like button. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, I couldn't get anything going for me. Two bullets, aces and kings cracked. What do you do, you know? So we call it a night and we walk off this stage. Thank you, Hustler Casino Live. Thank you, Casino King, for putting this lineup together. It was an amazing experience. Unfortunately, I just ran bad. 
And I hope to bring you guys more of these vlogs in the future from Hustler Casino or even just a stream in general. These streams are good for my game as I get to evaluate my hands and just go over my plays. With that being said, I will be going to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico next. And uh, I wanted to end it off on this positive note, showing you this nice Uber ride to the airport and this nice conversation I had with the driver. Have a good one, guys. You found something you're good at. Why not, right? You think it's easy, but yeah. it's not easy. Maybe, maybe you make it look easy. Once, once you get to a certain point, right? You do so naturally, right? It looks, oh shit, I can do that too. And they find out, oh man, this, this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Something like poker, it's the studying, it's the financial barrier is the most one. Yeah. Like there's a financial barrier. No one can just say, I'm gonna go play poker with my paycheck. Uh, because once they lose it, now they gotta go back to real life. Now and they what? gotta make it back. Now and what, right? People think it's just gambling, it's just cards, it's not surface level it seems like it's easy but i've been in many 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 times in my life where i was in the hole i didn't have anything didn't have rent i lost it i lost my car i wasn't studying i wasn't looking at things from a more wiser perspective and the skill gap comes from financial barriers and people dealing with real life 90 percent of the people are trying to do other things they're not going to try to dedicate to poker unless they're if they're really really dedicated they will become a poker player but it takes so much to be in that position. Hey, if anyone knows, you know. <laughs> Dude, you do this for a living. I play very lightly. <laughs> With my girlfriend here. Right, right. Yeah, a lot of hard work and sacrifice, man. Sounds like you know what you're doing, brother. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. You made it this far, right? Yeah, I try to tell myself that. <laughs> you, made it, you made it this far, right? It's not going back. It's just going forward. That's it. Hey, man. Hey, good meeting you. Yeah, likewise, man. <laughs> people head with huh? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Keep, keep on sure. keep on bringing it. You, know, <laughs> you got to bring it, man. You got to bring it. What's your channel? It's called Poker Llama. Poker Llama? Yeah. Okay. It's ah. like the animal. Okay. Llama, it's a funny llama, story yeah. how I got it, but that's it? my brand. Poker Llama. I'll check out your channel, brother. I appreciate that, man. I love it, man. <laughs> Poker Llama. <Yeah. laughs> that's great.